1979 here, and um, before I got busy doing other stuff, I wanted to um, be in a jungle, see? I love them, don't you? And then birdie. Getting really long. <laughs> anyway, I just had to say that. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about plantar fasciitis. When it, how it started for me was um, I went to a chiropractor here in town and he put the whole family into um, orthotics and I wore those for a year and after a year was up, which is when the um, warranty is up, my feet broke down somehow, and I was in tears and pain with it. Um, so I just babied it, babied that foot on my right foot, and. I don't remember what year that was, but before I, I went to the doctor with it, I, what year was that, 2012, 9, 2009 or something like that, yes, 2009 is when I went to the doctor, anyway, it was like 7 years or something, do you hear that sound? That is the, um, which you probably didn't, rah! anyway, if you don't, that's fine, but if you do, that is the, uh, the thing that makes the water soft, water softener, yeah, anyways, my mom had to have it whatever. Um, we've had it for a couple of, a few years, the water softener. But anyways, back to the plantar fasciitis. The, um, before I went, I tried a whole bunch of stuff from um, footsmart.com um, and, and other ones. I have that book over there. I don't want to get it out. But anyway. I used ibuprofen, I used um, things that, uh, uh, like patcher, um, those stretchy, what is that stretchy stuff called, that you wrap around your, like your hand or your arm or whatever, anyway, that stuff, I had one that just went around the arch part that worked for a while, then I had one that had the the puppy thing underneath it and that worked for a while and hold on if I can get this book out what's mine if I can get this book out yes I was not totally prepared and it's already four in does this one have the plantar fasciitis stuff? Yeah, some of it. I started with these band, these things right here. It is sleeves, arch sleeves, and it's just that stretchy stuff. The chiropractor suggested um, that uh, that band stuff, what is that band stuff called? The sports band thing that's stretchy and it sticks to itself. He, I tried that too and it, it didn't last long. Anyway, then I tried something like this one with the padded 
on it to do wrong way. To do that, there is a ball thing that you can put on your feet and roll on it. Uh, they uh, a golf ball is what they said to get you know the plastic things, which I got them too. I got them. I got the yes. I got the plastic ball thing, and I'm wasn't prepared, right? These little balls roll your arch on it. Yes, they feel good. It comes in a pack of like it's the the squishy kind. Don't get the hard. Don't get the hard stuff. Get the squishy golf ball thingies or whatever those are. Um. And I just tried a whole bunch of stuff before I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor, like I said, in 2009 or 10. 2009. The, the foot doctor put me in these power steps. The blue one is what he put me in in... He said you're supposed to change them every two to three months. His was 50 some bucks. These in here for the originals are like 30 and the um, Pinnacle Max, which I get the the blue ones is what he put me in. The, the red one there is what I get because it's supposed to be stronger. And those are forty, thirty, five, ninety nine, but they're supposed to be stronger and last longer. And I do have them in the other room with my shoes, but they um are not here with me. But there is the half one. They come in oh no. Those are not the those are I am doing these from Walmart. They are, it is for plantar fasciitis. It's soft and hard. Some of them's hard and some of it's soft, but where you need it at, it's soft. Um, those are in the shoes. There's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can get, like the night guards and that ball thing that I showed you right there, or was telling you about, another ball thing. Um, basically, now, that crap doesn't work. And, I've been using this, Nerfix, because I do have, um, I didn't until 2011, the end of 2011 or 2012, developed diabetes, and this hurt, this hurts. This helps the nerve, my nerve pain in the feet sometimes. And I don't, it feels, feels like bugs biting my legs and stuff. But anyway, I didn't start that for the diabetes. I started it for the plantar fasciitis because there is a nerve by where they cut. And I thought, well, maybe that will help. Then I tried this uh, joint because there are joints in the foot. Um, conjointant and chromium, or chromium, conjointant and glucosamine, 1500 milligrams, I get that. And I continue two of these a day and two of these a day. They worked for a while. Then I was like, wow. So, I... Uh, Excuse me, Mom. I had talked to a Neem person because Neem is supposed to help with pain, and it's N E E M. And um, she put me on this Neem fungus fighter. It helped. It's not opened, so I'm not gonna open it. It helps for a little while. Then I tried the the Neem seed oil on my feet that helps then she came out with neem pain fighter 
This stud is gold. Um, it's for joint and muscle pains, um, and it does help with pain. I, she came out with that recently, and I'm like, oh, yes. And before that, I tried this Tiger Bomb Red Extra Strength. Yes, extra strength. This stuff stinks. But of course, y'all probably think the name would stink. And as, and it does help with pain too. Little beady bottle. Anyway, and then I found in one of Mom's books because she likes herbal and homeopathic and and um, natural books. She she got one for pain. It's a pain book to relieve pain. Well, it said that you need this enzyme. And I got this on Vitacost. I got the neem on allaboutneem.com. This tiger stuff was on in Walmart. Some Walmarts don't have it though. And all and these two pills that um glucosamine and the Nerfix is and Vitacost just like this one. Proteolistic enzyme. It's supposed to help with pain. I take two in the morning and two at night. This stuff is awesome. It has bromelain in it, and I think that's the main uh, main thing you want in here. But uh, so if you guys have kind of specialized problems. The doctor had me resting and not on it for a long time. Then he had me he had me in those foot things, those um what are those dudes called? Um power steps. Um we did physical therapy. no, first we did shots. The I don't know why I started with shots, but we started with shots, and there there was three shots. First one was gold. The second two um, wore off, and the pain came back. Um, and he he wanted me to do stretching. Put your feet up like this on your toes, and there was a whole bunch of different stretching. You can probably Google it. Um, I went to physical therapy. They made me do other stretching, and they said that was a whole ordeal right there. They said that my doctor didn't know what he was talking about and all that. Okay, a foot doctor, a specialist, doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. And this was a physical therapist saying, this is how you're supposed to stretch stuff. I'm like, well, this is not how he told me to stretch. and stretch that ligament out and then I did um, the physical therapy didn't work it actually kind of made it worse um, he, he said there's two surgeries one of them they can go in and just like um, do some kind of electro zapper things and, and they put you to sleep for it because it's so intense or something or we can go in there and cut half of that ligament. They can't do the whole thing, but they do half of it. And um, he said that would be the best bet. So I went in there. They did that. Uh, at first, I the pain of the surgery was less than the pain I was having. So I was like, yes, I am... Of course, he put me on pain pills, and um, he uh, codone, hydrocodo, or something like that, and um, I, at first, I was just doing it, actually, I was not in pain when I took it, I took it because he said to take it every so many hours so I can heal better. So I was feeling better. And then um, uh, 
I was doing good. I was has hard, hardly no pain or nothing. And then I had to go to the doctor and get some because I had sinus infection and stuff. And um. I forgot the nasal spray in the car, so I went out and got it, and something ripped in my foot, and I haven't been in pain since. So, the doctor asked me if it was, if it's still in pain, I said, yeah, if I get pain again. They did physical therapy, and it didn't work, then he said there was nothing else for him to do. So I'm just like buying time before I have to have um um yep before I have to have uh, pain management. Um now mind you, he never never brought up my weight as a problem for it. Never. Um Skinny, skinny people have it. So don't comment down below in the down there and tell me if you lose weight, you'll it'll go away. You know what? Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it gets worse because I've heard stories. So don't be talking about that with me. And um, so and the next thing I'm going to do is put magnet, put an anklet on my foot magnet and I'm hoping this right here that I'm opening is those magnets we will see what this is but um, yeah I think it is open up says me yeah it's kinda heavy man this dude right here I'm gonna put in my anklet, ank anklet. I'm gonna put in my anklet. Let's see what this thing is called. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. The magnet ankle anklet does restless leg syndrome, lower back pain, neuropathy, and legs and feet. Cool. Hips, knee, ankle, foot pain, bone spurs, inflammation, swelling in the feet, which would help. Pure circ poor circulation in feet, plantar fasciitis, gout, bunions, ankles, or ankles, aches from varicose veins, sciatic nerve, mom needs that. Um, um, Reynolds. Um, syndrome in the feet, arthritis, which that is another thing that I have now. That whole list right there. So I'm going to try this dude right here that, that's not really light. And I hope it fits around my ankle or I'm going to send it back and get a different size. I had to get the men's because my ankle was 11. And I'm getting one to put around my wrist too. How do you do you undo it? Oh, it comes apart. It's magnet, and it is hard to get apart. <laughs> that is cool, and I can fit it around my ankle. Yay! I got it. I'm gonna be so happy, and I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. This dude was on Amazon. And it's called Men's Heavy Duty Very High Powered All Magnetic Ankle Blades with Copper. This one has copper. The other one has the one the one for the stay there stay there the one for the uh, bra the bracelet one hasn't come in yet, but it has something else on it. And I wanted to get. It to see if it will work on my feet, my ankles, and my um with my arthritis because I have arthritis now and I can't take or can't excuse me I cannot take ibuprofen anymore because I'm on my Lossacam and that is 
a type of right ibuprofen, but it's for arthritis. So, and it's beginning not to work. So, I am trying, trying, praying even for relief of stuff. But I'm going to put this on my ankle when I'm off of here. And we're going to go to bed with it. And stuff like that. Maybe I'll do another. They have um, bracelets and necklaces in it. It's for a whole bunch of stuff. Look at that. That's for your necklace. How much stuff it does. And this over here is for the bracelet. Pretty cool. Look into that. Um, Nikon has some, but they're expensive. You just look online. There might not be as powerful on Amazon, but we're going to find out. And I will talk to you later, wherever you are.